I think many legal practitioners would be attracted to a master's programme, especially an online master's programme, um, because it, it gives them opportunities to, to, to change the focus of their, of their legal expertise. If you want to, to change course or, or, or to upskill in that way, um, to take an intensive course in, in fields such as international banking and finance or an international business can really give you a, an extra edge, either if you're looking for a new job on a, on a very competitive employment market or if you're looking to bring something new to your firm or to your company as an in-house lawyer and to really offer the opportunity to branch out your activities in that way. We also have another group of individuals who are what I will call as mid-career professionals who are not interested uh, primarily in finding a new um, job environment but they are thinking in terms of advancements within the organizations that they're working in and I think most people will agree that in, irrespective of whichever organization you're working in there's always a legal element at some point in uh, it can be for example in the banking and finance or in the business environment you're talking about governance and if you're dealing with intellectual property well it covers a broad spectrum of employment as well as employee um, issues that may arise in that particular environment. We have individuals who have had no legal background in the area of banking and financial sector and very keen on finding out, for example, um, the area of money laundering and cross-border financial uh, arrangements and taxation. And we find quite a number of non-legal professionals are using the programs that we have to offer as a way of finding out some of the legal issues that arise in the particular organizations that they're working in. Mm -hmm.